what's up everybody welcome back to another video from exotic astrology again and today we will discuss about the worst of the worst malefic <laughs> we discussed on the best the most wonderful benefic the last time was it jupiter or venus it's a controversy right <laughs> i would leave it up to you whichever you want to call if you are new to the channel then subscribe to it below or side or up or left wherever <laughs> and if you want a consultation from me then approach me in my mail or in my whatsapp the contact details are there in the comments and also in the description below the video and before beginning as i say god is there with you all the time just look to him and he will save you from the effects of the most terrible malefic in the chart well 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 what is the meaning of malefic malefic simply means which gives you struggle which doesn't give you things easily which takes a lot of effort to achieve that is why planets like sun mars saturn rahu ketu are malefics because they represent the difficult things in life that doesn't mean they are bad the word malefic doesn't mean they are bad it simply means that they represent those areas where we have to work hard we have to put efforts that is why they are known as malefics they represent the dark side of our life now who is the most of the most malefic oh my god they say sun is a mild malefic mars is more sinful it's more of a puppy and then saturn is more and then rahu is more and ketu is also more my god <laughs> but we fail to realize who is the worst of all malefics who is that my god maybe it's rahu right the demon no <laughs> maybe it's the headless ketu <laughs> well unfortunately not neither is it rahu neither is it ketu then who is it mars the planet of enemies but what if you don't have enemies <laughs> then maybe saturn is the malefic right which represents tears sorrows suffering pain but what if you are born in a million trillion dollar family and you have everything the best of the women the best of the money the best of the cars luxuries then you don't have saturn in action there are no enemies <laughs> rahu ketu is not troubling you because there's no desire left which is not fulfilled everything is getting fulfilled so there are no malefics right everybody is a benefic that means <laughs> no welcome to the top most of all malefics that is sun surya narayan sun is the most malefic oh my god another controversy <laughs> he's calling sun the most malefic my god why just think let me give you 10 seconds to ponder 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 tick tick times up <laughs> why sun is the most dreaded malefic of all planets oh my god sun god will burn me today <laughs> I hope it doesn't. <laughs> But anyways, it will also love it when I make this video. So why is Sun the most malefic of all planets? More malefic than Saturn, Rahu, Ketu and Mars. Because Sun represents the ego. Now, when I say ego, I I'm not meaning arrogance here. Generally, people say, "Oh, he's a very egoistic person." That that is a wrong definition of ego actually. That 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 means he is a arrogant person. who is very rough in dealings i am not speaking of that ego here when i say ego i mean ego simply means identification <laughs> what we attach ourselves to what we think ourselves to be that is the meaning of ego now when you blast on people that's arrogance misplaced ego that is the meaning of arrogance but when i say ego don't think i am talking of arrogance here ego is simply what you 
identify yourself with like for example my grandfather was an officer in the indian administrative service but i am not an officer <laughs> i am doing masters here so what do i identify with do i identify with being a master student in germany at the university of gottingen or do i identify with being the grandson of a ias officer in india there you see that's the difference that is the definition of ego or suppose you have a very beautiful wife so you always identify yourself as the husband of this girl how oh, whenever somebody asks you oh, who you are oh i am the husband of uh, this girl <laughs> you may be a millionaire but for you that identity is more valuable than that money sometimes it may be maybe the opposite sometimes you may have uh, the best wife but you may value something else yes who is this? one example of this from the mahabharat we have the example of dharmaraj yudhishthir yudhishthir maharaj the eldest of the pandavas he was an exemplifier of this he had draupadi as his wife of course draupadi was the combined wife of all the five pandavas we will discuss on that some other time but she was the most benevolent the most beautiful the most chaste the best perfect lady any man can have or desire as his wife but he did not have his ego there <laughs> he did not identify himself as the husband of draupadi identity he did not identify does not mean he did not take care of his responsibilities as a husband or as a king he did all those he was flawless in all those but when i'm saying he did not identify i mean to say that was not his primary identity his primary identity was to the word of the scriptures divinity god wisdom that is why he is known as dharma raj dharma is the ninth house of spirituality raja means king of religion one who follows diligently all the principles entitled in the scriptures and you lead a life like lord ram maryada purushottam the perfection of a human life so he did not identify with draupadi neither did he identify himself as the son of pandu neither did he identify himself as the king of hastinapur king i mean when the kurukshetra war was over then he became the king i mean of course dhritarashtra was there but he was the main person who was taking care of all those so you can tell that he became the king nor did he identify himself with arjuna arjuna or bhima they were his brothers the most unparalleled undefeatable warriors the best people in the planet that time bhima and arjuna were his brothers but he still didn't identify with them he only identified with one person that is krishna <laughs> because he knew krishna was god yes so therefore ego is simply what you identify yourself with it can be your spouse it can be your job it can be anything anything can be your ego okay i identify myself as the owner of this car or owner of this macbook that means i am owner right <laughs> whoever you are you will feel like that and what happens when you feel that you own something in this world you get entangled the soul gets entangled that is why sun is the most malefic just think of the sky when the sun is rising well the sun is rising here now although i can't see it but when the sun is rising when you look towards the sun you cannot see anything it's blind you cannot even look to the sun itself what will you look here there <laughs> what does it mean it simply means that sun is so hot and so big that nothing else is visible which means that when we identify ourselves or attach ourselves to certain things of this world to possessions to relationships to money anything it can be the soul gets entangled and that causes ultimate level of suffering because that is the beginning of the soul 
beginning of the soul doesn't mean soul is eternal it's sachid ananda beginning means it gets entangled in the material world that is the beginning of the journey of the soul in the material bodies that is why it is the most malefic because it gives you strong identification towards that thing that is why it is the most malefic because if it doesn't start there it will not start anywhere <laughs> see what happens when you get entangled when the soul comes from the spiritual world in search of happiness in this mundane objects then what happens you start indulging in different things and then you go from life after life from different bodies cat's body dog's body elephant's body human body body of angelina jolly body of ashwarya rai body of amitabh bachchan body of michael michael jackson body of sachin tendulkar anybody lata mangeshkar and by that you continue your fake sense of identity that okay today i am this tomorrow i am that that is the root cause of all problems <laughs> because lord krishna says in the gita that the living entity is so foolish that he thinks that he is the doer <laughs> he or she included in this so that's the problem we think that we own things here and in the name of that ego we cannot see god that is the main problem we cannot see god because we think that okay i already own all this why do i need god i don't need him right because i am happy here i am owning things i have a good family i have a good wife i have good children that's it why do i need anybody <laughs> why do i need god at all because i already have things i own things i am the controller problem with sun is it gives you the status of controllership there you go that is the problem that is why it is the most malefic every suffering starts from there it is the root cause of all suffering because without that there will be no entanglement so wherever sun is placed in your chart you can have too much obsession regarding those things controlling those things having authority over them lording over them <coughs> that is why even if sun is very good in the ninth house it can still cause tremendous power struggle with the guru i have seen time and again sun in the ninth house can be probably sometimes the worst placement in the chart even though sun is the significator of the self if there are other combinations of infidelity or cheating in the chart then you will have fights with your guru because you are sitting in the house of your guru the sun is sitting there you want to control your guru that means you want to tell your guru don't tell me what to do i will tell you what to do <laughs> that can also be very good sun in the ninth house if it is well placed in a good sign or if the other uh planets are well situated but i am saying sometimes these things can also happen yes all right that is it from my side the worst malefic and why there you go if you are new to the channel then subscribe to it and if you like this video click the thumbs up and if you have any questions queries or comments then let me know in the comment section until next time with another video bye bye see you